All right, here with uh, Coach uh, Millen Trail Coach uh, Jeremy Moore. First of all, Jeremy, I know you, you have to feel like you left some opportunities out there tonight. We left a ton. Um, you can't score if you don't have the ball. Uh, we kept giving it away, like we didn't like we didn't want to win. So, uh, hats off to them. They they capitalized on the opportunities they, they got, and we didn't. So. That's it was all. really, it was a, a overwhelming probably margin. You, you mentioned the time, the time of possession. Like you said, you, if you're not, and, and, you, and beyond, uh, uh, beside that, you did have some opportunity. We, uh, we were trying to go tempo and wear them out because we knew, um, you know, we, were, we had the numbers advantage. And we had some kids only play one way. But when you go run three, three plays and fumble the ball, in a matter of 45 seconds, it doesn't do you any good to go tempo. Were you trying to, is that what you did with number seven, bringing him in and alternating him out with uh, with Gladwell? Or? Yeah, just just to get a running threat back there. And he can throw the ball pretty well too. Um, and Gladwell, when Lanny went out, Siner went out early, you know, Gladwell is probably one of our better receivers at quarterback. So uh, we were just trying to put different guys in different positions to succeed. Um, obviously it's been a tough two weeks for you guys. I mean, I know you, I mean, it's not even an excuse. It's just a tough thing for kids yeah. to have to deal with. I mean, it really is. Yeah, like, it's it, it's an excuse if you want it to be an excuse. Life, life's tough, man, and you can't you can't just crawl in a hole and expect people to feel sorry for you. They they had to fight and they didn't fight very hard, and it's extenuating circumstances. And I don't really know how to, you know, not many coaches have been through what we had to go through, so I don't know. There's no handbook for you know, how, to, how to approach those things, but I expect our guys to go full speed and, and focus on little things that we just did not do that. You, feel, you fell behind. You, you got a touchdown there at the end of the first quarter. Did you feel like you, you got your footing at that point? We did, um, and we just did not. Like you said, we didn't capitalize on opportunities early. Um, we gave them – we muffed a, muffed a kickoff, and it was 16 to nothing before our buses – you know, turn their engines off. So it was a great, great job of them. They game planned great. Those first two series were spot on. They did everything they were supposed to do. You went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. They scored, then they get the fumble on the mm -hmm. kickoff. I mean, that was – if you were coming to see offense, you saw it all right there. Basically. Yeah, if we, can't, if we can't get a third and one and fourth and one, we don't deserve a win anyway. That's uh, just fact of the matter. We hang our hat on running the ball, and we just didn't do a very good job. That's and that's on me as a coach. How do you recover from this? I mean, I mean everything you've been through. They say day by day. We just, you know, Friday's Friday. We come back Monday and just try to get better. We we got to learn to hang on to the football. Hey, coach, I appreciate the time. You guys hang in there. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you guys.